This is better, isn't it? Good camera perspective, steady camera, and I don't have to hold it like that and shake all around. What's not better, Serie A didn't really go all that well for me today. I saw two games and both of them didn't go my way and in both cases I expected it that way. Um, talking of course Milan Fiorentina. Milan slightly improved over the flaccid performance against Bologna. Uh, Cialanoglu tried to take the game on his shoulders and yeah, he had some good chances right from the get-go. But you could see there's something not quite right with Milan. I mean, the defensive midfield was Matri playing. <sighs> Just doesn't look right. Egoin is hanging around. Now the crowd is uh, displeased with Egoin. There are all the rumors of him potentially being swapped with Marata to Chelsea. Oh, I don't like that one at all. But I know, yeah, there's financial regulations that they have to meet as well. It's just one big mess uh, at Milan. Um, I gotta say, there was even less coming from Fiorentina. At least that's how I saw it. And with the only good chance, Chiesa, wide range shot, they made the goal. And in the 72nd, and Milan really needed some time to recover from that. Rodriguez had one header, and that was that. Um, it was not a deserved loss, but I think a draw would have been deserved, which would still have been too little. Because Lazio won 3 1. Now they are sitting in fourth space. Uh, Fiorentina is not too, within two points of Milan, and it's a really tight race. I mean, everyone from 4 to 12 is within six points of this fourth spot, so it's a tight, tight, tight race. And if Milan continues that way, I don't see it going uh, very well. The next opponent is frozen on their way. Normally that's three points, but you know, we saw the already last year at Benevento when it should be three points that in the last minute the goalkeeper makes a goal. But it's, I actually was hoping that there, I didn't realize that there's a boxing day for Serie A as well. Um, I was actually hoping that they get now two weeks to regroup, but nope. Next Wednesday they're playing again and I'm gonna watch again 12.30. Well, that's nap time. <laughs> now, let's see. Uh, I also saw Solatio won against Cagliari 3-1. Yeah. Honestly, to be expected. Uh, and, you know, I take every... Lazio probably served. I didn't see highlights, but, you know, Lazio probably uh, should get something going. And I saw a little bit more of Lazio the last few weeks than I saw of Milan. And the big game, of course. Uh, yeah, Inter played 1-1. In Verona against Kievo. Yeah, I'm not even smiling about that one now. I usually I would, but uh, yeah, when Napoli won against Spal. Uh, but the big one was uh, Juve Roma, which was a great game. Mainly Juve having uh, the possession and having all the action, enormously many uh, corner kicks. But Roma actually playing quite well despite being decimated by injury and, you know. You can see they're not the fittest team, uh, but they definitely uh, gave some chances, had some chances, but also, um, you know, Olsen made great saves uh, on Juventus. Ronaldo couldn't get a goal this time, or rather Mandzukic made a goal that Santon should have defended way better. So it was 1-0 at halftime. Um, I had the feeling, I mean Juventus was playing well. But I had the feeling that Roma, if with a little bit of luck, they could have done more. They could have gotten something out of that game. Um, there were there were chances there. Um, but then you also got to mention that Ronaldo and Olsen had a private duel uh, where Ronaldo probably should have made a second goal. So I think the win for Juventus is overall all right. Of course, I was a little bit hoping for it. Give me something to keep Serie A a little bit entertaining, but yeah, 8 points is the lead. Juve is not gonna give that one up. Uh, Juve would have made it 2-0, um, wonderfully played by Ronaldo, who was already quite frustrated, he played a wonderful pass to Diego Costa, who slotted it in, um, but then there was a foul by Matuidi right before that, that and uh, goal was taken away, but Roma couldn't do anything anymore. 
So that was Serie A. A little bit more uh, joyful <laughs> was the result I saw in Eng England. The Premier League had actually, actually quite some uh, interesting results, I think. Uh, Leicester won at Chelsea, so Chelsea is kind of so and so. I know I saw Arsenal won 3 1. I want to say Bournemouth, but I'm not harm from percent But the big one is, of course, Manchester City against Crystal Palace. Yesterday, Liverpool was winning, so they had four points uh, lead. And I already, and it was going the way that it was supposed to go. Manchester City having many, many, many chances, taking the game to Palace and then uh, Gundogan even making the 1-0 and just a few minutes later it's suddenly 1-1 one, one. wonderful shot by Townsend makes it 2-1 at half time hmm is there something yes there's more there's a penalty uh, 10 minutes after half time for Crystal Palace 3-1 and then of course an onslaught but except for uh, cross that kind of went to the goal by De Bruyne five minutes before the end and I think the, uh, that was made it 2-3 and I think before that Sané hit the post with the free kick and then there were other big uh, there was another big chance in the last minute but City managed to lose to Crystal Palace that was something wasn't there Palace got their revenge for that loss uh, that gave City their first title in ages uh, on the other hand, uh, they managed to be um, not relegated, so keep the level. But it means Liverpool has now a four-point lead. Uh, they play Newcastle at home next, and I think City is traveling to Leicester. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, Liverpool fans will be joyful, but you know, it's only four points. It's only four points. Um, but gotta say Liverpool doesn't look bad if they can stay away from injury I think Liverpool can do can do some damage in the Premier League however I didn't watch much Premier League I watched um, La Liga I saw a lot of Espanyol at uh, Atletico Madrid where Espanyol really played well most of the time just couldn't get the um, ball into the net I mean I missed most of the first half because of the Milan game so they should, 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 should well watch that where I think Batista hit the post and before that was saved. Um, really great chances. I mean, there was not much coming from Atletico. I actually like the color matchup in that one too. Uh, and speaking of kits, the Crystal Palace kit, I, mean, I was happy for them to win, but that's a horrible kit. I'm sorry. Going back to that, uh, Atleti gets then a penalty, probably justified penalty. The Griezmann slots home and then Atleti plays the game that they need to play. Uh, just sit back, defend, uh, get the 1-0 and see you later. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, Espanyol played well, they lost now six in a row and honestly they didn't deserve to lose this time around. But hey, that's how it goes. Um, and then of course Barca at home um, against Celta Vigo. Yeah, there was only one way this is gonna go. Um, First goal, uh, cross from Alba, flat cross to Messi at the edge of the box, who shoots, it's the, uh, saved by goalkeeper, right, so it's the feet of Dembele who slots it in 1-0. Uh, Barcelona having chances, not much coming from Celta, of course, and uh, I think in the 42nd, wonderful pass, uh, again by Alba, who sees Messi free and he has so much space, makes it 2-0. Should have probably made it 3 0 at one point, but it remained 2 0. So uh, Barcelona stays top of La Liga ahead of Atleti, but Sevilla has a game in hand tomorrow at Leganes. And of course, Real Madrid still also has a game to play uh, in hand because they won the Club World Cup 4 1 um, just when Alain threatened right. A uh, minute after Modric makes it 1 0, and then Madrid was toying. And yeah, that was that for me watching. I just saw the highlights. Wonderful second goal, third goal by Ramos, who has to uh, be an S. Any celebrations, but you know, Ramos being Ramos, uh, nice goal by Alain, make it 1 3, and then an own goal, make it 4 1. I th I'm thinking of making a video 
quick video of how to make the Club World Cup beta because who wants to see the Champions League winner toying with the opposition? That's not what you want to see. And then the last one, also not that great of a result from my point of view, Bayern Munich uh, winning at Frankfurt 3-0. Flattering scoreline in the sense that Frankfurt, up until it, uh, as long as it was 0 0, uh, Frankfurt dominated the game and should have made chances, even had chances to uh, get an equalizer. It was a lot like the Netherlands Germany game uh, earlier this year. Uh, the one in Amsterdam where then two late goals by Bayern basically sealed the deal. The other one, uh, second one by Ribéry, who shoots, I think, with his right on his left foot and in. Ribéry, the first goal was also Lewandowski and Ribéry. Müller, I think, even hit the bar. You know, it all seems going in Bayern's favor, but uh, Frankfurt had three or four really, really good chances. And they should have scored at least one goal that, that, that they would have deserved. And then the third goal, um, Rafinha, same as De Bruyne, once across in, uh, <laughs> mistimes it and it goes into the net. Weird goal, weird goal. So that means by any second now, six points behind Dortmund. They play an awful season and are still second and are still in it, I would say. Well, that was that. Let me know which games you were watching. Uh, as, as, as you can see, I've resigned on Milan a little bit. I actually think this. Well, I hope they play a, a good second round because I think there is the talent there. Uh, to get something going, I just don't know where to start. It's not going well, and I think uh, if they qualify for any European comp competition, it will be uh, sensational. Again, let me know which games you watched, uh, what you think about the games that I talked about, if you agree with my assessments. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel right around here. If you want to see more of these, I also post a few playlists. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.